Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine here with you Get ready to do your reading. That's right. I think we're going to be doing uh, Virgo Libras, right? So, Virgo Libras, welcome. Divine Squad, my lowest subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. You guys are awesome. So, if your birthday is September 19th to 25th, you are that Virgo Libra cusp, right? Which is the cusp of beauty. Okay, so that's perfect. So, let's get into it. I'm going to shuffle these cards up here a little bit. I'm going to find out what's going on in your energy now, okay? This is for the present moment, nothing of the past or the future. Though some of those things might come out in the story, but that's just for the now, okay? So, I'll lay more cards out and tell you a story. Within that story, you'll have your message. After your message, I'll give you your outcome, your verdict, your grand finale. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, hit the like button and subscribe if you're brand new. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate that. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing well. Took a couple of days off. It's called a technology timeout. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Alright, I'll take that one. Let's see what that is. <clears throat> There it is. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's a choice, a decision, something that you're juggling. Okay, it could be about finances because it is Pentacles. Okay, let's keep going and see what uh, what else we can pull up here for your second card, and then I'll get into the the rest of the story. Empress. Okay. So it looks like the Empress is you. You're in this, um, you know, this uh, abundant, stable, grounded, beautiful, intelligent, like she got a lot going on for yourself, right? But now here with that two of pentacles, it's a decision about making something towards your stability, okay? Possibly, okay? So let's get to the first card and we'll figure out what this all means. Yeah. Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so it is a decision that you are making about um, collaborating with somebody, right? Because threes, Pentacles is uh, collaboration, teamwork, right? See, it's teamwork, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, you're trying to make a decision about joining forces with somebody. Maybe it uh, could be in work, right? Could be in work. <clears throat> Something creative, possibly, right? King of Pentacles. No, it's collaborate with a King of Pentacles person. So, this person also is, um, you know, stable, abundant, grounded, got a lot. Got a lot of energy going on here with this Pentacles, right? So, this is like for stability. Right? It's not a job, it's really this person. So you want to collaborate with this person. I mean, it could be a finances because there's three cards that are pentacles. So let's uh, keep going. Yeah, so two of cups, it's about a relationship. Like I said, you want to collaborate with this king of pentacles person, right? Who's stable, they're grounded. Pretty good, pretty good with that. So now you get the two of cups here. That's a choice, a decision, and it's an emotional choice. It's about making this offer. This is interesting. This is what is, is going on in the present moment. Okay, so <clears throat> let's keep a going and figure this out. So the full cards on a new journey, right? So yeah. It's like, maybe, you know, they're, they're at a distance from you a little bit, right? So you definitely want to take this journey with this King of Pentacles person, okay? So um, this is who you want to collaborate with. This is who you want to have this offer with and, and take this leap of faith, right? Mm -hmm. Take this journey, right? Mm -hmm. Not too bad. 
<clears throat> let's keep going see what else we can pull out for y'all justice that is your justice so you will have this journey in this relationship with this king of pentacles who you want to collaborate with okay so that's uh pretty much it that's pretty sweet you can't really say anything more about that okay so here you go five of cups so mm. you see a little frustration here okay not bitter but you're a little frustrated Five of Cups, frustration. Changes are about five, so five's like <laughs> fives are changes. Oh no. Okay, we'll take take these. <clears throat> Let's see what these got here. Bottom's the top, top's the bottom, you know how I do it. Boom. Okay. So right now, this Nine of Pentacles is your single. You're abundant, obviously, because you're this Empress energy, and the moon card is something that you're not not being something's being um kind of left in the dark and it looks like the truth okay so you're frustrated being single but you want to take a you want to take this journey with this this person this king of king of pentacles person who you want to originally was deciding to you know collaborate with and so now this offer is being put forward to you by this king of pentacles because you're the you're here juggling with this two of pentacles so this is you making this decision to collaborate with this king of pentacles who made this offer to you to take a new journey and that's justice but you're frustrated being single and so with the moon card here is What's not being illuminated to you or not being seen, something that's kept in the dark is it's the source of the truth. That is the truth. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we'll take that. Eight of Pentacles. Hard work. Skilled labor. Let me pull another card. Because even though the Ace of Swords is the truth, I kind of feel that it's like a new perspective because Aces are about, you know, new starts, beginnings. Swords is your mind, it's your communication. So you could have a new... Well, let me just pull a card here. All right, I know it's early. King of Wands, okay? So, you know, a little friendly, right? A little friendly... A little friendly hard work meaning you're passionate about this this work that you want to put in for this kind of effort right so really here with the moon card what's um it might be a little hard work just saying and this is why you might be frustrated is because you're single <coughs> and uh the truth is that it, it it looks like on this journey because the Eight of Pentacles is underneath the Fool card, so it looks like you're really going to have a hard time with this journey because the truth is about this relationship. It's there. But it looks like it's going to be some work. So, like I said, maybe they're at a distance, and that could be that work. That could be that truth that you're frustrated about. Is That is, there is a distance, and that is some hard work. Okay? To really make that... Um, stick and work that's why the two pentacles is there juggling that idea king of cups king of cups king of wands You know, let me get my other deck here. I want to pull some clarity on these two here. Kings. 
Okay, I'm going to use my light seeders tarot deck, get some more clarity on this King of Wands slash King of Cups energy, okay? Let's find out what this is about. Maybe it's hard work to know the truth, or maybe what you're not seeing is the truth, that it, it could be hard work. I mean, this is what I'm seeing. You're frustrated being single, you want justice in that, but what's being uh, not seen to you is the truth that it's hard work. So let me clarify these. <clears throat> I can't with King of Wands on top of King of Wands. How do you do that? I mean, how do you do that? I need a sip of my coffee. It's Monday morning, people. It's early. Alright, 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 kings, and three kings right there, the three kings, holy crap, and then the queen of cups, so king and queen of cups, I cannot with this, this, this is bananas, this is absolutely bananas, okay, so yeah, um, it could be Leo energy, see the lion there, right, so this is kind of how I'm feeling, it's Leo energy, right, so this person, this Leo is very friendly, right, they're very friendly, and they are very loving and giving, just like you are, right? Because you're this empress. So this person is very friendly, very loving, very passionate, very giving, right? But also a leader. And so with the king of cups here, clarify with the queen of cups. Um, they can be a little emotional. They can get a little emotional, I guess. This is what I'm seeing here. Because the king of cups is your emotions. Queen of cups has more emotions. Swimming in the emotions, okay? So, um, I think it's really, you know, this clarity here for me is just really saying that this, this person who really has the stability and all those things that you're looking for also is, you know, very friendly, passionate, definitely a Leo because you see that lion right there. And so what the hard work is about is knowing that not who this person is, right? So this is the clarity that I'm getting. So just deal with that, okay? What I'm getting is, is that it's really the journey, the distance, right? Because if you're the fool, you have to take a journey. So that means you're going somewhere, right? And so that going somewhere could be they're far away, you're far away, something like that. But it, 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 it's based off stability because there's a lot of pentacles and pentacles is about your earthly realm. So it's your, it's your job, your finances, your career, stuff like that, right? Same thing, job, finances, career, right? It's all about the money. So the eight of pentacles is saying that it is going to be, you know, maybe you, 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 you want to put in the hard work. That's kind of where it is. You're 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 single and you're frustrated with this idea because they they could be at a distance from you. So the moon card is what's not being illuminated to you is the truth that you you do have to you know put in this hard work to make this work. And the only hard work that it is is that it is at a distance from you, right? So. That's the only thing I can really pull out. That's kind of crazy. <clears throat> right? You got to work at it. Right? You got to work at this closing the gap kind of thing. Okay? Closing that distance from them. Let's keep going. Pull another card. Four cups. So... Yeah, it's like, it's like you're disappointed a little bit, not at this person, but at, like, I'm, I'm only feeling the distance. So the truth is, it's going to be hard work to take this journey because they could be far away. So that means you're going to have to put in that effort to really make things work. And this, this does kind of make you a little, um... You know, a little disappointed. Four of Cups. Look at him sitting there sulking, kind of like not happy with the prison situation or what's being offered, okay? And so, um, let's get another one on top of that. 
Ace of Cups. So it's more like the four is stability, right? So the cups is now your emotions, right? So this is the juggling. It all makes sense now, okay? So now it's like really the frustration that you're having being single. You want justice in knowing that this person, it's Leo energy, friendly, emotional, very loving though, right? Very loving. Um, the truth is that it, it, you're going to put in the work. You're going to put in the effort. You're going to put in the time. It's not necessarily hard work because he's doing a lot of stuff. He's banging all that out. So it's like you are going to put the effort in to make this work. And so now here with that four of cups, that stabilizes your emotions, right? Because you're a little emotional about this with the queen of cups because they had the king of cups energy. And the emotional part is probably because they're at that distance, okay? So now it's like you are stable in your emotions to have this brand new start, right? Which is the offer over here. The two of cups is the presentation. So this person offered you this, you know, collaboration, relationship. And this, this is your justice to have this. But being frustrated and single and, and, and not seeing that you know the truth about your investment. You have to invest in this. Whether they're far away or not, you're willing to put in that work. Okay, towards this person who's very friendly, loving, and giving Leo energy. And that stabilizes your emotions. Because also with the Ace of, Cup, uh, Ace of Swords, not only is it a, um, a the, the truth card, but it's also... Uh, a new perspective right so you gain a new perspective on you know that you're going to put in that work and that effort to make this work for your justice and having a brand new start in this emotionally right so it's a it's a it's a solid relationship it's from the divine too because that hand is the divine giving you this cup so that cup is what is missing here. So that tells me that's how you stabilize your emotions. Because that cup is there. See the hand? See the hand? Right. Okay. I mean, a little confusing because it was like, is it going to be hard work? Is, are, you, are you, you know, a little confused on if, if you're going to make this work because they are at a distance and you've got to take this journey to kind of make this all happen. You know, something like that. So here comes the tower. Okay. So tower is a change. And I think that change already happened with you understanding that just because there's distance doesn't mean it's not going to work. That's the clarity I was looking for, my friends. And that's what you got. So there's the tower card. So noobs, hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. Let's get your next two cards. So then you have the Tower and then you have the Death card. Followed by the Page of Cups. Alright, so the Tower is that the change, right? This changes your emotions because you're not going to be frustrated anymore. You understand the truth that you're going to put in this hard work. For this person who's very friendly, loving, giving, emotional, that kind of now gives you a new perspective to stabilize your emotions for this offer. That is that tower. So now this goes away. The next card is the death card. The death card. So that's transformation. And the page of cups is now some news coming in. Some news Maybe the offer is being presented because it was a choice to have the offer. The Ace of Cups is you just really, you know, getting that other cup, which over here with the four, you were like, uh, you know, I don't know about the long distance thing. And so now that tower comes, so that changes that, that ends that for you. So you, you understand that you're going to put in that work because this person is worth it. They are. So then the death card comes. That is a transformation of this offer, okay? So something changes about this offer. Maybe they tell you something about this distance.
three of wands. So it's like you're waiting to hear on something. Yeah. The transformation and the change that comes with the death card is this news that comes in that you've been waiting to hear. So maybe they give you some good news. Maybe they tell you, hey, you know what? I am at a distance and we're going to make this work because uh, I love you and you love me and you're tired of being single. So your justice is to have this person come into your life. And so because that Eight of Pentacles is underneath that Fool card, that really tells me that that is the journey, the distance, the farthest. Because when you take a journey, you go far away, right? Even if you go down the street, it's farther than from where you were. So that kind of represents that, right? So you do get a grip on your emotions. It stabilizes your, your idea because you, you're willing to take this leap of faith with this person. And so now you're waiting to hear some kind of news, right? You're waiting to hear some kind of news. And what that news is going to be, we're going to find out. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. Right? So, yeah. Uh, they're going to they're gonna just, you know, tell you, hey, uh, feel a little frisky. This is what you're waiting on. You're waiting for them to come in. And, um... <laughs> you don't even want to know what I just see in my head. Uh, right. Holding the wand. Holding the wand. Everybody's holding the wand. What's going on with this? It's a very passionate kind of thing going on here. Mm, that's all I'm going to say about that. So you're just waiting on this person. Maybe maybe they're going to come and visit you. Maybe this is that journey. right? Maybe they're going to come and visit you. This is the journey. This is making more sense now. And so uh, you could be waiting on them to come in. And so uh, you get news of them. You know. Um... I mean, there's news and news and news. So it's like you guys are talking a lot. Maybe you're discussing how this journey is going to be. Maybe you're discussing the distance. Maybe you guys are discussing about... Disgusting about... Discussing about them coming to you. Because this King of Pentacles is offering this and the Fool card. So the Fool's looking at that Two of Cups. So that's this person coming in with this offer but wanting to take this leap of faith. Also going on a journey. So I think they're coming towards you. I mean, uh, yeah, and so you've been waiting on this news, waiting for this person to come in, and so finally you get you get word. Can you get word? That makes you happy. So they're gonna tell you, yes, it's worth it. We can have a family, we can be stable, we can be grounded, right? This is all that you want to hear because this is your justice about this person. And so you really get this sense of now stability because, you know, maybe they come and visit you, right? Maybe they're coming to visit you. And so maybe the hard, you know, this frustration and, and just kind of waiting around with that three of wands is uh, like a time frame. Okay, so maybe you guys were talking and uh, discussing plans and things like that, really coming to this understanding. And so now once you get to that page of <laughs> waiting to hear some news about this stability, right? And it looks like they're going to move towards move towards you for this stability, right? So they're like basically saying... That it doesn't matter about the distance, it's okay, because we can still work this out. We can still be stable, we can still be abundant, we can be grounded. Maybe they're even offering the idea of coming around you, around your way, whatever that is, however it fits for you, okay? So that ends some kind of conflict, right? So yes, that is true, and then there's the Queen of Cups, okay? So yes, now you feel very emotionally happy about the idea that that conflict of what? The distance in this offer is now going to be collaborated better, meaning it's going to work out a little bit more where you guys talk, you make plans, you try to figure things out for the best of you too because they're obviously into you and you are to them and so your justice is to have this kind of 
investment. And that investment is going to take a minute to get here. Which ends that conflict for you of being frustrated, waiting around, just kind of, you know, seeing how it's going to work out. Right. But you get emotionally stable with this. And so the change, the five of wands is change. So that change is represented here with all the, you know, like I said, the frustration and all that good stuff. Okay, so then you got that Queen of Cups sitting on top. And it's going to be passionate and romantic and very, ooh, a lot of wands out here. So, mmm, the King of Wands, two King of Wands, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Three of Wands. So you're waiting passionately for this person to come in and bring some news to you about, hey, I'm on my way. Maybe, like I said, you guys have a countdown, something like that. But you're waiting on this person and it's going to, you know, bring a lot of stability because they're coming with that stability. And so that changes any kind of conflict resolutions that were not had by collaborating and trying to work out the deal, work out the plan. Um, you know, map out the route. Maybe they're coming to you. Maybe you're going to them. Something like that. But it looks like they're coming to you. And so, yeah, they're coming in um, emotionally stable, right? But they're coming in with a lot of romance, a lot of passion. Ace of Wands right there on the deck. Boom, right up on top. So it's a brand new passionate beginning, right? So you guys have a lot of passion. And it looks like you do. You, you guys do connect. And it's very uh, fiery. It's very passionate. It's very soul driven. Ten of Swords. So that ends any mental conflicts that you've had with yourself that's also represented with that Five of Wands. So now tens are completions and endings. So anything that in your mind that you were going through with the frustration and trying to have a new perspective and analyzing to see if this was going to work. That's why originally you have the juggling card here to see if it was going to be feasible because they are at a distance. I'm just sorry, that distance keeps popping out of my head, which obviously would make you frustrated, right? But you guys collaborate and you make things work out and then, you know, everything starts to change. Right, so now when you guys start talking about it, they bring, you know, maybe they text message you, email you something. Just say, hold on, you know what I mean? Hold on, I'm coming. I'm going to be on my way, something like that. And uh, that brings you that stability, that comfort, that idea that now the strife that you have within yourself of waiting and even knowing if it was going to work or not kind of brings you to be that emotional stableness to wait for this romance to come. So that ends all these mental burdens and conflicts that you were having within yourself in that Ten of Wands. I mean, Ten of Swords. I know a little tricky and confusing, but I definitely got it down pat. So the Queen of Swords, there you go. So now you're standing in your power, also because you're the Empress there. So um, it's, like I said, it's direct communication. You guys express both what you want, and you say, hey, you know, Let's make this work. Let's figure out a plan to, um, you know, make our stability uh, even greater together. Let's collaborate because you, you, you pitch, you know, they, they came to you with this and your justice is to have this. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave it right there because that Queen of Swords energy is pretty good. Sometimes it cannot be, but this is uh, standing very direct, very solid on your foundation and uh, your communication is very direct and to the point. So there's no beating around the bush and you guys kind of go over all those details of the hows and the whys and if you can and if you can't and do you want to and do you not want to. Like all those kind of questions that you have when you're involved with somebody that, you know, is at a distance. I mean, that just pop stuck in my head bad. Okay. So yeah. You end that because you guys have these very direct conversations. And that ends any kind of mental conflict that you might come to have. Also, 
ends your frustrations. And it looks pretty good because it's going to be a brand new passion and beginning and also romantic, right? Very, this person is very romantic. I mean, they got have a lot of emotions for you. You do as well for them. And so I think the only battle that was looking like it could have been was if the distance was not going to be talked about, worked out, planned out then this is the juggling that you had to decide to see if it was going to be not worth it, but putting in that time and that hard work to close that gap between y'all, okay? And so uh, I'm going to leave it right there. So happy Monday. I hope you enjoyed your guys' reading. It was a little, where are we going with this, right? But I think we got it understood now. So I thank you for your time and your energy. You guys are fantastic. Divine Squad, as always, thank you very much. Appreciate your support. Noobs, you're brand new to the channel. Hit that like button and subscribe. Become part of the Divine family. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. So, um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you back around again for your next reading. So, check out my other playlists. And uh, enjoy your day. See you later.